Hello everyone! Welcome to a very special brand new series that we'll have here on the Pixel Biology channel. Series Summaries! Every week we go on so many adventures and release dozens of episodes. This past week alone we've released over 37 episodes. That is a lot of content and gives us so many different stories to tell. To help us keep up with what's been going on in the various stories each week, we'll be having these quick episodes to summarize some of the latest adventures. In other words, summaries of series series! <laughs> I bet you guys can spot the pun by now, right? And as part of the fun every week, I was thinking it would be really fun to give the last week a fun name to be remembered by. And this week, I am proud to present to you the summary of the week of the slimy platypus. And why on earth are we calling the last week the week of the slimy platypus? Well, let's dive in and take a glance at some of the adventures we went on and see if you can figure out the mystery of the name. And first up, we have Slime Rancher. So this is a brand new game for a brand new Let's Play that we started this week, and it was awesome. Oh my gosh, even though the game is only in alpha right now, it is truly stunning. I think it is going to be a gem of a game, probably one of my favorite games of all time, and I can say that just having played as much as I already have. There are so many different adorable slimes that bounce around on an alien planet, and you're given a vacuum gun, and you go around and you suck up the little slimes, and you gather up little carrots, and there's even little chickens that run around and the slimes themselves are so cute. There's the little typical pink slime who basically eats everything and is so adorable. And then there's rock slimes that have little spiky gems on top of their heads. And then there's tabby cat slimes that have cute little tabby ears and they, they do little head bops with you. They bounce up and they head boop, head boop you right on the nose and I just think that's the cutest thing. And you can actually combine the two different types of slimes to make like a, a pink rock slime and it can come together and basically you are a rancher on an alien planet collecting up the plorts that the slimes lay after you feed them and selling them for money and you can buy all sorts of jetpack upgrades and expand your ranch and I love this game. It is so cute. Its concept is totally out there and its art style is utterly beautiful and I hope you guys will really enjoy it. There's been a lot of support for the first episode of Slime Rancher and if you just need something colorful and cute and to relax and to just hear the adorable sounds that the slimes make as they jump around and chase after little berries to eat, then please give it a, a go because Slime Rancher is amazing and like I said, probably going to be one of my favorite games of the year already and the year just got started. But let's go see what other adventures we have been working on as well. Over in Wolf Quest 2.7, we have been having quite the rough week. Our daily Wolf Quest episodes are still going on, and we have been following the Moon Pack, and we've been following the Stormy Skies Pack, which are run by two different brother wolves. And we have been having a hard time of it because Nightlight was trying to complete with his second litter, and unfortunately, we did lose some puppies. And I won't spoil like which ones we lost and how we lost them. You guys can go through those episodes and see those for yourself. But oh my goodness, it was drama and tragedy and the stuff that really sad stories are written of right at the last moment. All of this drama happened and you just, we were so close, so close and oh man, it was really sad. But we have also concluded the last episode of The Brothers' Journey. We have actually ended with Atlas's and Nightlight's legacies. Their, their story and their time running the pack as pack leaders are, is now over. And today we actually had voting on who is going to inherit uh, as the heirs to both packs. So that voting is going on in a straw poll in the latest episode. You guys will probably definitely want to check that out if you are interested in Wolf Quest 2.7 and you would like to see who is going to become the next heir of the different packs. So we're going to continue on with our daily series tomorrow over the next week and seeing uh, who's going to follow up because I'm going to really miss Atlas and Nightlight, but it's time for their children to step in and fill the roles as pack leaders and carry on the pack legacies. 101 Dalmatians Challenge in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and custom content is proving to be as adorable as always. We have just absolutely adorable Dalmatian puppies running all over the place, and we have been getting to know the Radcliffe Dearly children quite well. Terry is now a child, and he has actually developed a fondness for strays that I was really excited to see. This is the first time I have ever had a Sim have the lifetime wish to adopt a whole bunch of strays, and I think it's really fitting that Terry, who has grown up 
up on a farm with dozens of Dalmatians and all of his little sisters end up has ended up wanting to adopt a whole bunch of strays and there's actually a stray cat that's been hanging around their house so this is the first time that we have been trying to attract a stray cat to a family in Sims 3 and it's proving to be a little trickier than I thought the stray cat has taken quite a bit of pleasure in destroying the newspapers that the family has out but it also has been sticking around the farm so I think it's gonna be really fun to continue following that story and seeing if Terry can convince the various strays of their world to come and move in with them with all of the Dalmatians that we have and just continue with the adorable chaos that has gone on in the 101 Dalmatians challenge. Sims 4 had an exciting release of a new stuff pack that I actually really liked this week. I have not been super into stuff packs before, but Sims 4 movie hangout stuff pack released. And I went ahead and grabbed it and we have been having our twins in Windenburg enjoy having a whole bunch of cool movies, the beautiful bohemian furniture. I don't know why, but there's something so utterly charming about the popcorn popper too. I have no idea why the popcorn popper is like the thing that stands out in my mind the most for what we have done in Sims 4 this week, but just you can have buttered popcorn and kettle popcorn and cheddar popcorn and that just sounds like so much fun and there's new movies they can watch and all of your Sims can watch a movie together. So I really had a fantastic time sitting down with Ash and Holly and having them just enjoy like a beautiful outdoor movie park that they could go to with their friends. Since there's still not weather in Sims 4 yet, that's totally fine. They just have a beautiful night every night to be able to enjoy these adorable movies. Hopefully some new romance might be developing for or Holly and maybe even Ash over in their world. So that's what those two have been up to. And we have also been working on making Tate very happy by having him take over the Garden Gnomes Club and bring over a whole bunch of people who have really been helping our little old man Tate in the Green Family Legacy manage his household of his huge garden that was getting so many weeds and he really needed some help with it. So now he is the leader of the Garden Gnomes. And that takeover was actually pretty fun and a lot easier than I thought it would be and maybe that's because our little old man Tate kind of looks like a garden gnome himself at this age so hopefully he'll be able to enjoy running the club before he expires of old age not to mention he is going to be seeing his grand baby be born pretty soon his next grand baby is due any day so we'll have to keep a close eye on the green family legacy in the coming weeks our daily series zoo crafting has continued without stop all week and it has been pretty amazing. We have done a lot of work and had a lot of progress on the Asian river fish exhibit. We've managed to fill it up with water. We've managed to put down all of our water plants, pretty much used up all of our water plants too. And then water plants kind of got on my mind. And so we went over and we finished working on the lily pad gazebo and wisteria cafe, which is really, really beautiful. That is probably one of my favorite places in the entire zoo. And I really had a wonderful time just spending a while there this week making sure that we have a couple new NPCs that we can buy lily pads from and we can buy adorable little pastries and coffee and tea so we can just eat that at the lily pad gazebo and I'm really looking forward to sharing those areas with my friends on the server so zoo crafting is going quite well I'm absolutely loving it and we have some more surprises coming up with it pretty soon in the adorable app game Snap Animals, we have finally, finally, finally upgraded our museum and been able to unlock the canyon area. And I'm so happy about that because it took forever to get there. You have to take so many pictures and you really have to collect all of the little coins and clean up the trash people leave on your island and chase the captain down and make sure you're taking perfect captain pictures. And I love the new area. The canyon is so beautiful. It's just got caves all over the place and happy little cheetah siblings that are chasing each other around and through all the caves you can turn and see a whole bunch of baboons grooming each other and then you look up and there's this big looming waterfall and it's so fun because if you look at the waterfall sometimes giraffes will just stick their little heads out of the waterfall to surprise you and that is so cute so I really hope we can get that captain's picture one day and we also saw our first rhino and it's so beautiful and I really can't wait to get in there take lots more pictures and be able to unlock more of the areas because it is one of the most charming games I have ever played and reminds me so 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 much of Pokemon Snap so hopefully we will be able to take some some more great pictures and unlock more areas in there pretty soon. 
And in the week of the slimy platypus, we have continued to explore Star Stable, and I have been having a great time. It has been a very long time since I have played an MMORPG, and normally I play ones that are more fantasy-based, so it's a really quite a surreal feeling to dive into one that's kind of based off of the modern world, where there's like actually horses and tack, and there's cars and construction things and bulldozers and planes, and that's much, much different from like playing Ragnarok or Final Fantasy, so it's really fun to be able just to try out something totally new and I have been loving it because I forgot how entertaining a MMORPG can be because it has all of these quests for you. It has so many characters that you get to learn about. It has so many little areas for you to get to, just to get to explore. I have been having a wonderful time playing with my horse and trying to like level my horse up and this week I actually made the decision to become a star rider which means to become a official member of the Star Stable community and I don't regret it because I think we are going to enjoy the Star Stable series for a very very long time and be able to enjoy unlocking all of the quests and seeing all of the updates for a very long time to come. So I hope you guys will enjoy our races and adventures and our hunts through all of the beginner quests that we have in Star Stable. I know it's making a lot of people feel very nostalgic because it's been around for a long time and some people have been playing Star Stable for years but we're just starting and I'm really excited to continue with the adventures. Oh not to mention this week we also got a beautiful dress because clothes are actually a big part of the game and it was from an almond like pudding and how charming is that we won a dress from finding an almond in an almond pudding and it's a really cute dress so I have my almond dress and I don't know why but that just like tickles my fancy kind of the way the gnomes in a bucket on Star Stable tickle my fancy too so I'm really loving it and I hope you guys enjoy the almond dress and the gnomes in the bucket as well Slimy Platypus Week also saw success in Spore as the Leo play continued to attempt their space conquest, and they're not very good at it yet. Having played as the powerful Finnall, who have all of the expansions and all of the weapons and all of the technology in Space Stage, it is really surreal to step back and be like simple and new and tiny with the Space Stage with the Leo play, who are a fierce warrior race, who are still struggling to even be able to get anything done. And this week we actually got a really cool pirate hat for our captain and we died repeatedly trying to do some ground quest but we definitely will be beaming down to planets and trying to solve some mysteries on foot and take advantage of the adventures part of galactic adventures more as time goes on but at least in slimy platypus week you can enjoy seeing us run around and get a gigantic pirate hat of awesomeness Horse save improves to be as charming as ever, and we have been continuing our work at breeding the rare Capricorn horses and having quite a bit of success in Horse Haven with that. And the Capricorn horses are beautiful. They have these yellow manes, and they've got the markings up along their sides that almost look like wheat, and the tattoos on their sides are just very, very pretty. We've also been breeding up some of the other rare horses. I believe we got our Mythic Arabian horse, a very beautiful black Mythic Arabian this week too, which a lot of people were super excited about. I was stunned to see how many people People were like, oh my gosh, it's a Mythic Arabian. So those are really popular and good to know about. We've been trying to visit more people's ranches and we have also been working on looking into some of the other rare horse breeds that we need to unlock further adventures in the Horsepedia. So that's really fun because that means we're gonna start visiting a lot of people's ranches and breeding with their horses soon. So horse saving continues to be quite fun and we are still crossing our fingers for some rare foals. And Zoo Tycoon 2 World Zoo Season 2 holds the mystery of the second half of the name Slimy Platypus with our Island Treasures series, which is part of the overall World Zoo series where we have multiple maps that we go to in order to try to fully explore all of the different animals, including many, many modded animals that we have in Zoo Tycoon 2. And we've been having a lot of luck this week with our marsupials. Our kangaroos and our spotted couscous have been very busy breeding and giving us a great opportunity to talk about the diverse range of mammals, especially around the Oceania territory of the real world. And it's been really fun because we've had quite a few couscous babies be born and we've had a few kangaroo babies be born. And then we've also rescued old Salty, the saltwater crocodile from an animal mill, which was very exciting. And then next to his exhibit, we have added in the platypuses. And that is really fun because the platypuses are not marsupials. So the marsupials have their little babies in their pouches. And we talk about that quite a bit in those episodes. But the platypuses are one of two 
egg-laying mammals in the world that are currently living in the world. There used to be more, but we just have the platypuses and the echidna now, I believe. And they actually lay eggs, even though they're mammals, when they have their young. So we're crossing our fingers and hoping that eventually our male and female platypuses will see that they kind of, they like each other and we might have some platypus babies coming up pretty soon. So we'll have to keep an eye out for those guys too. And some exciting prehistoric adventures continue in Zoo Tycoon 2 Dino Park, the Dino Park revival series that we have brought back. And we have been having a really great time figuring out all of the problems that we have with laying out the zoo and making sure people don't fall into the woolly rhino exhibits because that seems to be a problem right now. Making sure our dinosaurs don't escape, gathering up fossils to put together. Our Smilodons are having some issues sticking around long enough to have babies. And we are also trying to make our quagga quite happy and stop staring at their rumps which is a really hilarious inside joke if you've been watching those episodes and we have also been getting some new dinosaurs that we are breeding inside of our extinction center where we put together their DNA and we have a little egg and we put it inside of the pen and there have been some really fun new dinosaurs that I have never seen before that we have added in and we have also managed to get a set of baby triceratops who are so adorable and people have so many amazing names for so we're gonna be keeping an eye on all of these babies growing up and we are gathering up more fossils in order to breed up more rare dinosaurs to add to our park pretty soon. Sled Dog Saga saw a really exciting update earlier this week with the Dynamic Dogs update, which added in the Samiad, a brand new dog that we could add into our kennel for our musher so that we could go and race across all of the beautiful snows of our little world and gather up coins and go into races. And the update added in so many new features. It added in the ability to truly rest your dogs, to train them up, to work on their skills. There's several new layouts for the user interface so that you can see your dog's skills in new ways. You can see if they're talented or if they're like naturals at certain positions on your sled dog lineup and you can see how like friendly they are with each other it has been really really fun and we also got some great news that the developer of dog sled saga actually reached out to us and let us know that he is going to help our poor little schnauzer professor who crashes the game no longer crash the game so we should be expecting the professor to be out in some of the races pretty soon though those races are not going so well we did try to bite off more than we could chew by trying to enter league six this week and we kind of tripped over our own paws and it was a hilarious very sad exhausting mess and hopefully once our puppies are recovered we will be able to go and try to reach into league six next time and that is it for the week of the slimy platypus given its name because of the adorable game slime rancher which i am just so in love with i mean there's even hen hens in it and they're so cute and they cluck and you suck them up in your little vacuum and put them down in a little coop and it's so adorable and the platypuses that we have added into our island treasure zone in our world zoo series in zoo tycoon 2 and i hope you guys have had a wonderful week and you have enjoyed our adventures maybe you're inspired to give some of the adventures we've glanced over a try oh my gosh the Stray Cats in Sims 3, running around on our horse in Star Stable, the adorable giraffes in Snap Animal poking their little heads out from the waterfalls, the lily pads at Lily Pad Gazebo in the Wisteria Cafe in Zoo Crafting, the popcorn in Sims 4. There have been so many amazing moments that we have shared together over the last week, and I'm really curious about what some of your favorite moments are. So if you guys would like to, please put down in the comments below what your favorite moments from the adventures you have seen over the last week have been. And there is a chance we might pick one of those moments to spotlight and highlight on the next series summaries episode next week when we look back on the week of the slimy platypus and we move forward to whatever the adventures will hold over the next week and celebrate those as well. So yeah, if you guys want to, down in the comments, just say what you have loved, what little moments stand out to you the most over all of the adventures over the last week. And like I said, it might be highlighted for next week's series summaries episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week and I can't wait to see you at the end of the next one. Until then guys, bye bye!